Welcome to Case Over and Over, June 21st. Gemini season about over with, y'all. Gemini season all over with. Shout out to all my Geminis. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right into it. Philly went down in a horrible loss. You got a seven foot motherfucker at the top of the key, you're doing behind the back dribbles, getting ripped. You know what I'm saying? You got Ben Simmons, 6 11, with five points in the whole game. Can dribble, can't shoot, can play D. He had 13 assists, so this is what kind of game he got. He had 13 assists, but this nigga only had five points. This nigga's a bum. What, he been in the league five years? You ain't developed no kind of shot yet? What the fuck is going on, man? Look, I don't know all them NBA professionals. I think all that shit is overrated. The coaches and all that, they got all these people to help you do this. Now, give me a month with that nigga. I had that nigga uh, looking like LeBron out there. Give me one month with Ben Simmons, and I would have him a fucking MVP. I know I had a jumper. You know what I mean? And I know what to do to work on a, a jumper. You know what I mean? So it ain't that hard. You got dudes in Little League and can coach in the NFL right now. They just don't respect it. They want to know who, you know, who you was up under, who was, who, you know, who was the head coach that you was up under and all of that. Fuck all that. You got dudes out here, man, that can really do this shit. I can give Ben Simmons, I can make Ben Simmons a fucking MVP. If you don't believe me, ask all the dudes who are locked up with me to follow me right now. Six, nine bone out there hitting all kind of threes. Yeah. Bum ass nigga. The fuck you the number one pick, nigga. It's been five years. You ain't developed no kind of shot yet. Shit, Ron Harper even developed some kind of shot by the time he went to the Lakers. This nigga was hitting threes and everything. Ain't that right, Jeff? That's right. What the fuck? Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, we live from the stratosphere. We put all the best in from the stratosphere today. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Shout out to Jeff, man. They went to the, what is it, top of the, uh, top of the town, baby. Top of the town. They had dinner and shit, baby birthday. They did their thing. But anyway, back, to the, back to the point. Being Simmons, nigga, you a bum, nigga. You a bum, nigga. You don't need, I seen the D you was playing on Young, too. That was impressive. Somebody your size that can hang with a point guard and all that, but nigga, you, hey, ain't nobody trying to hear that. You getting roasted all over the social media. You getting roasted everywhere. Nigga, how you got five points in a game, bro? The fuck, man, you 6'11", can do all this shit. How you got five points in a game, bro? What the fuck is going on? Phoenix did their thing without Chris Paul. You know what I'm saying? This nigga test positive for COVID. What the, I thought the COVID shit was over with. You know what I mean? They let motherfuckers walk around with no mask and all this shit. This nigga got COVID. How the fuck you got COVID? And it, nigga, you ain't never been this far in the playoffs. You always ain't got hurt. You didn't call COVID, nigga. What, in the fucking conference finals? Man, you was fucking, man, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Cased over and over. Listen, I got a hell of a topic for y'all today. And I know I'm going to get some, some dislikes about this shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm going to talk about this George Floyd Monument shit for a minute. He got monuments popping up all over the motherfucking country. He even got a motherfucking hologram. You know what I'm saying? So to me, in 30 years, when you, you know, your kids ask you, like, huh, uh, Uncle, Uncle Kenny, who was, uh, who was George Floyd? What you going to tell him? Only thing you can tell me, he was a nigga got killed by the police. That's the only thing you can tell him. He'd been arrested nine times. He was in the porno. He was a thief and all that. You know what I mean? Look, I, from my personal experience, you know what I mean? He could have been the kind of guy that he was doing shit to feed his family and all that because I was the same way. But I feel like me getting a life sentence during 15 years, that was my karma. You know what I mean? That was, that was my, that's what I had to pay. That was my price to pay. You know what I'm saying? So to me, this nigga don't deserve no motherfucking monument. How the fuck, like all the people they done killed on the side of the road, I'm talking about good people, on the side of the road, same way as him, you know, knee on back of the neck and all that. They ain't never commit no crimes. You know what I mean? They, they ain't going to the store with no fucking counterfeit $20 bill. None of this shit. 
How the fuck this nigga get all these monuments and shit? Like, I don't... Monuments is made for motherfuckers to look up to. I understand the social injustice part. You know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't about him. It's about what they did. You know what I mean? But to me, as a black man in America, man, fuck this nigga. This nigga that was his nigga karma. His karma was, and his injustice was, for him to pay his family. His family got paid. He, he, he lived out what he wanted to do. He was doing shit to feed his family. You know what I'm saying? He was committing crimes to feed his family. You know, I'm going to give him that. He might have loved his kids and his family and all that, so he was doing what he had to do. Nigga had Percocets and all that shit on him and, and he got caught with a kind of, man, fuck this nigga. Monuments are made for motherfuckers to cherish. You know what I mean? For us to look up to. Like, I can't, just because he got killed by the police, ain't nothing about him I look up to. Me personally, you all might see it or whatever. Fuck the, uh, the social justice part about it. The monuments are serious, bro. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day in the, in the Roman Empire and Egypt and all that, they was putting themselves up. The kings and, and queens were putting the monuments up because they wanted to be looked at as gods. That's how serious motherfucking monuments are. You know what I mean? Fuck this nigga, man. This nigga died by the police like a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Way with way better characteristics than he ever had. What what a monument set. You know what I'm saying? So I know y'all gonna leave some fucked up comments and all that and, and say whatever. I don't care. Man, fuck this nigga, man. The nigga died like he's supposed to die. He was a sacrifice for his family. His family got the millions and all that shit now. Now now what his family supposed to do, they supposed to carry the torch. Towards social injustice. They got the millions and all that. Everybody know who they is. They should carry the torch. Now they got a profession that they probably never had before. Now they can succeed in life like they could never succeed before. Because of his death. You know what I'm saying? So now let's look at it. You know, you got to look at it in that way. My karma was I was destroying my community. I was running around with my sex pays and all that shit. Doing shit. You know what I mean? Even though I didn't do scare straight programs trying to fix myself. Because I know I owe. You know what I mean? It's a such thing as ancestry debt that we gotta that we gotta pay. You know what I mean? And I I I figured that shit out a long time ago. I was like, why ain't nobody in my family got no businesses and shit? You know what I mean? Like I'm like, damn, I, I used to go in the corners, you go to the corner store, you know the whole family. It'd be, you know, they got the corner store. You go to the little restaurant up the street, it'd be the whole family. I'm like, why am I mean, nobody in my family doing shit like that? I had some, you know, some family members that was teachers and all that. My aunt and my uncle, they, they you know, they taught at Shaw. And my aunt was down, she was a professor and all that. And, you know, we proud of them for that. But we ain't had nobody with no businesses and all that. In my family, now the Floyd family, you know, they got that money. They should carry his, his legacy in the way towards social injustice. And they probably didn't ne never want to do that in their life. They, they just fell into that because of his death. That's his karma. To me, like, you know, they got to, you know, they got to pay it for. You know what I mean? But for me personally, the monument shit, they, they, this thing got a hologram. They got a hologram of this nigga. You know, they light this bitch up in George Floyd. Man, fuck this nigga. You know, that's the way I feel, man. Fuck George Floyd, nigga. Even when he got arrested, he was doing shit to agitate the police and everything. Then when they put the nigga, put the, the, the knee on his neck, he's talking about he can't breathe. Now everybody got the t-shirts, oh, I can't breathe and all that. You know, I respect that, but I don't respect him as no motherfucker, his character, as far as no monument. And 30 years from now, when your grandkids and your kids like, ask you who this nigga was, only thing you can tell them, oh, he was just a nigga that got arrested. You can't tell them about nothing this nigga did to help the society or none of that. You know what I mean? So that's my, my that's my take on the George Floyd Monument shit. What do you think, Jeff? I agree. You I agree? agree. I, don't, I don't believe that he deserves a monument. Right. I keep it at that. Everybody I talk to, like, man, they don't agree this nigga deserves a monument. What do you think, baby girl? I don't think so either. Right. You know what I mean? The nigga 0 for 3 up in here at the stratosphere. <laughs> <laughs> nigga 0 for 3 up in here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments section. 
I'm gonna keep the video short today. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep everything short. I ain't gonna do all them long 15 minute videos no more. And I'm sorry about the J Stole beats and shit, all that. I ain't got my shit set up and down here at the hotel. You know what I mean? But I put all the best in today. You know what I mean? I'm waiting on Cleveland in the end today. You know, uh, the Mets already came through. I need Cincinnati to come through for me to get this money. Cincinnati Reds. They didn't even win by two. They down three nuts. You know what I mean? But y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all be respectful in the comment. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to share. This is going to be a hell of a channel. Brand new channel right here. It's a brand new YouTube channel, man. Y'all share this shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to be dropping these jewels on here. I've been giving up the lots. I've been showing y'all the hits. I've been showing y'all the money. You know what I mean? And we're going to have different topics with this shit every time I come on here. We don't just do sports. You know what I mean? So y'all hit that like and subscribe button and share this shit, man. You know what I mean? Case over and over. Holla at y'all.